got to throw it open to, to the people at home because we've had loads and loads of calls, which I'm delighted by. Uh, so let's find out if it's all over at 55 for you girls then, Amy. We've got a caller who is 55. What do you think about 55? Are you looking forward to it? Um, Truthfully? No. <laughs> well, I, I, I don't know. I think it, what everyone on the panel said the same thing. I think it's, it's from in here. If you feel sexy and you feel good about yourself, that's what's attractive to other people. Okay. That's what I think, anyway. Okay. And I do fancy Sean Connery, so... Do you? you know, yeah. Do um, we've got Anita on line one. <laughs> Anita, good morning. Good morning, Matthew. Sexy at 55. Discuss. What are your thoughts? Yes, I am. <laughs> OK. I'm 55. I've had six children. Right. I'm still the same size now as what I was when I was 18. I'm still a size 8. And I put on a bikini, and I feel great. Do you, do you feel, do you feel superior to other women of your age? No, not really. No, no. I, I Luckier. Think, you know, I, I, I think I've kept, I've kept my figure, and that, and I've looked after myself. But I don't feel superior to anybody who's fifty-five, and you know, is is a big woman or anything like that. As I, I, I agree with Belinda, it's how you feel about yourself. Okay, okay. Uh, glad to hear it. Thank you. We've got loads of calls. I'm going to rattle through them. We've got Coral on the Coral, good morning. Team. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Uh, sexy at 55? Well, um, I would say that it's, if you're sexy when you're young, you're going to be sexy when you're older. Yeah. Uh, I'm now 67, and I thought I would probably stop being sexy when I got to 60. However, since then, I've been approached by a married man in his 40s to be his mistress, a younger man in his 30s who I thought was a friend, it turns out he fancied me, so that was the end of that. So, you know, um, I think it's built in. And if you're sexy when you're young, you're going to be sexy when you're older. Whatever I think you're right. Whatever she's got, we should bottle it. <laughs> I, I'm, <laughs> just, I'm just thinking that. And, and sexy, what, how would you... Is it, is, it, is it a... What is sexy, Coral? I think sexy is more an attitude of mind or something you give out that... I've never been conscious of being sexy. I have been continually surprised since I got divorced in my mid-thirties, um, that men keep telling me they think I'm sexy. I don't particularly feel it. Um, I'm not particularly um, beautiful or fantastic figure. I do, however, look about ten years younger than I am and always have done. Okay. okay. I don't know what it is about sexiness. I've, uh, when I was being told that, I discussed it with my friends. I said, do you think they think I'm sexy because I'll do it? <laughs> <laughs> or I'm sexy. <laughs> that's the way I, I'm with you on the on the first one there, Coral. <laughs> undoubtedly. Uh, what a fascinating call. Thank you. Lovely. We've got so another great on. call. Um, it's Margaret from Kent. She's over seventy. Margaret, good morning. So uh, our oldest caller of the day. Uh, Hello. Yes. Hi there. Uh, uh, so what well, do you think? I'm, I'm seventy-seven. Seventy-seven. And when I was seventy, I had. Uh, a torrid affair with a 35-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> and it was fantastic. And, and actually, he said I talked to him a few things, but they weren't sort of fancy things at all, you know, certain things that he, he hadn't experienced before. OK. And it was fantastic. There was no question of sort of staying together or getting married or going out. Well, we did go out together sometimes. But, uh, or, you know, I don't want another man living with me because, I mean, they're, they're too difficult to train. I don't want to... <laughs> <laughs> um, Margaret, Margaret. Yes. This young man clearly found you sexy. How do you view yourself? Do you feel sexy? Well, yes, I do. I still feel it. I'm still, in quotes, fully functional. You know. Yeah. Um, and it, it doesn't sort of fade away. I'm a, I'm a widow, and I always had a good, a good sex life with my husband. And um, you, you know, it just doesn't, it doesn't just go away overnight. You know. And so, so I, I, I think, and I do four, I do four. <laughs> Uh, up, uh, you know, four yoga classes a week. I do keep myself well, but as for appearance, I think it, I think that these things are much more to do with personality and uh, functioning. And, and also, the bit I mean, like the I'm bit not like... bad looking, and I'm not overweight and so on. But at the same time, I wouldn't wear a bikini. No, but then neither would I. So uh, <laughs> I don't think we should worry unduly about that. Um, it is fascinating, isn't it? Whether it, we see it in ourselves or whether it's and it strikes me that all the women that have phoned up had. You could feel there's a common yeah. thread of, of feeling very at one with themselves. Uh, fantastic call, 77 to wrap things up with. And that's the panel part of today's show, uh, all done and dusted. Child Tamer, Lorene Mara are still to come. And that means it's goodbye, Belinda. Uh, great to see you again. Haymarket Theatre, Hay Fever. No. Manchester, Hay Fever, Manchester, Manchester Royal Exchange. Oh, dear. <laughs> That'll teach me not to read the script. Let's go through this again. Manchester. Royal Exchange. Royal Exchange.
Hey, hey Fever, Fever, till August the 16th. Extended yes. run. If you want to see it, great reviews. You need to get a ticket right away. Chris and Lat. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll be there. I'll, yeah, see you at lunch. Okay. okay. Bye bye. Uh, Chris and yeah, Larry, yeah. thank you very much. <laughs> Radiance, the panel! Yay! Talk to that man! <laughs>